Now, a mass grave containing the remains of 40 bodies has been discovered in Iraq's Ambar province. Iraqi authorities found the brutal site in provincial capital Ramadi. Officials believe remains to be civilians executed by Daesh terrorists. Body parts are decomposed and showed signs of gunshot wounds to the skull. It's the latest of such shocking finds made by Iraqi troops in recent months. In May, Iraqi authorities announced the discovery of three mass graves in three separate areas, one of them in the center of Ramadi, containing the remains of civilians and soldiers killed at the hands of the Daesh Takfiris. Iraqi army forces and fighters from the popular mobilization units retook Ramadi back in late December 2015. Civilian death toll from U.S.-led coalition airstrikes in Iraq and Syria has increased as coalition acknowledges casualties in its previous operations. The coalition said that 21 civilians were killed in its past air raids, bringing the toll up to 624 since the onset of its campaign in late 2014. The U.S.-led coalition called civilian casualties, quote, unintentional and made the announcement after launching a probe into allegations of over 130 civilian deaths that were not mentioned in the coalition's previous report. This comes as Air Wars Monitoring Group has put the civilian death toll at over 4,700 for the same period. The U.S. and its allies have been pounding Syria without consent from either Damascus or mandate from the European Union. Iraqi cleric Muqtada al-Sadr has called on the government to dismantle the popular mobilization units. And during a video addressed to a mass of the supporters in the capital, Sadr urged Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi to integrate the disciplined members of the units into the army and seize the arsenal of all armed groups. Estimated 100,000 strong PMU participated in the Mosul offensive to clear the city from Daesh. The Iraqi Prime Minister has said PMU is a, quote, neutral institution and will stay within the framework of the Iraqi state. Force will take part in the offensive to retake the town of Talafar from the Takfiris. Sadr's remarks follow a rare visit to Saudi Arabia last Sunday during which he held talks with a Saudi crown prince and other officials.